centuries, men and women have tried to tell fortunes by peering into a crystal ball, or sometimes through the swirling mists of time itself, they can glimpse the distorted secrets of the future. Okay, lady, hand over that ball. It's enough to shake up my stuffing. Spotty, wake up. Oh, come on, wake up! Ah, oh, I know. <coughs> oh, oh, a meteorite storm. <coughs> it's a boy. Of course I'm a boy. I've been waiting ages for you to wake up, Super Deb. I need your help. An evil cowboy has stolen my sister's crystal ball. Come on, Spotty. Put on your rocket pack. What? What do you mean? But, but, but we can't go out in the meteorite storm. I'll say my secret magic word. One hundred and four and five and six. hundred and fourteen. hundred and fifteen. hundred and twenty-two. hundred and twenty-three. hundred and ninety-nine. Uh, Two hundred. And that's just the beginning. I knew that crystal ball would make us a fortune. Can it really tell the future, Tex? Sure it can. Oh, tell our fortune, Tex. Go on, be a devil. Sure I will. But first, I'll have to cross my palm with gold. Oh, Tex, you're so mean and evil. Now, concentrate. Ease into the ball. Uh, what's happening? What's going on? Oh, oh. Ah. Oh, oh. Oh. They say there's an evil man in this wood taking people's money and telling them horrible fortunes. That sounds like Tex. Super dead. Yes, buddy? I, I don't like it here. But it's so eerie. And creepy. And gruesome. And... <gasps> What's the matter? The owl! It's an evil omen. What's an omen? It's a sign that something nasty is going to happen. When the tawny owl hoots thrice. It makes a sound that's not so nice. Oh, come on, Super Ted, let's go back. No, Spotty, don't be silly. <laughs> Goodness. Two black ravens overhead. Means it's time to go to bed. Oh, I don't like this, Super Ted. Spotty. It can't be far now. Oh, I'm frightened, Super Ted. Don't worry, I'm here. But you're frightened too. Ah, what was that? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. It's just my tummy rumbling. <gasps> Spotty, come back. They're only cobwebs shimmering in the moonlight. I'm sorry, Super Ted. I'm not going a step further. Maybe, Grizzly, it may be grim. But a bear who isn't brave just isn't a bear. Ah. Come in. Come in. My, it's a kitty bear. <laughs> How adorable. Yuck. Come and sit down and I'll tell your fortune. Nothing to worry about. It's quite painful. <laughs> Gaze into the bowl. Look through the swirling mists of time. I can see you flying through the sky towards a magic cloud. There's a woman there. She is angry with you. You have broken the laws of nature. She feeds you a potion. It seeps into your body, slowly draining away your life. Pulsating prune, so that's it. Oh, no, you don't. I gotcha. <laughs> Missed. Oh, Bo, you idiot. 
We didn't get your crystal ball back. Well, at least we stopped Texas Pete telling such miserable fortunes. Oh, thank you, Super Ted. Bye bye. And um, yeah, thank you, Super Ted. Oh. oh, I'll be glad to get out of this wood. It's so spooky. Super Ted! Super Ted!